All right, guys, a couple of uh, things I want to cover with you guys. First thing, some people are saying they're not getting the emails from the Live Lean Shred uh, email series. So here's how you can ensure that you get them. So this is, for example, this is Gmail. So if you go this button right here. to there and you click add, add Brad got through to contacts, that will ensure that the emails won't get sent to your spam or your junk mail. So that's number one. Make sure you add me as in your contacts or add that email that's, that you're getting those emails in your contacts. If you're missing emails, go check your junk mail. But by doing that, you will not get it sent to your junk mail anymore and you'll get it right to your inbox so, you, so there's no confusion. And if you're using uh, like the mail on your Mac, like I think it's called Apple Mail, you can click on the name in the email and just say add to VIPs. I think that'll do the same thing. Um, or add to contacts, one of the two. I'm pretty sure add to VIPs will help as well. But do that to make sure you're getting the emails. And guys, to make sure you're getting all of our YouTube video notifications as well so you don't miss out on those, go to, let's figure that in, youtube.com uh, YouTube forward slash live lean TV. And you come to our homepage here. You come up, make sure you click that subscribe button too if you haven't already. Click the bell and then it's going to say send me all notifications from this channel. Make sure you click that. Click save so you get emails or you get notified anyway when our new videos are uploaded. Do it! Thank you. So there you go guys, that's a couple things that you guys need to do to make sure you're staying on top of this. With those notifications coming in, those emails coming in, you're never going to miss a workout from us. You're never going to miss any more tips from us. You're going to stay on top of things. That's what you need to do when you're living lean. Get your priorities set, get focused, and let's get you some results. <laughs> Thanks for playing along. Ah! <laughs> And if you do have those notifications turned on, if you click that bell on YouTube, let us know in the comments down below. I want to give you a virtual <laughs> high five because you rock and you're in this to win. Let's go. Welcome back to the Home Shred. I'm so glad you've committed to doing these workouts three times per week with me. I'm happy to guide you guys in my home workouts that have helped me get in even better shape after having a baby. It's all about muscle tension and focus. And you can have just as good of muscle tension and focus when you're at home as you can at the gym, if not even better. So today, all we're gonna use is one stretch band. I'm using the medium strength. So if you're ready to get started, let's do this. Okay, we're gonna be doing 20 reps of each exercise. So we're starting with a isometric lunge hold position. So get into where your front knee is almost at 90 degrees and back knees down low towards the ground. You should already feel like your legs are turned on. And then you're gonna loop your hands through the stretch band, pull it overhead, hands facing each other, and then you're gonna pull down right in front of your chin, okay? So hold that lunge while you move up and down with your arms. We're gonna do 10 with our right leg forward and then 10 with our left. So that's three, four. Keep good tension on that band the entire time, but really focus on your back muscles. Good, the six seven, eight, nine, get one more. Good, okay, give your legs a little bit of a shake out and then change straight to the other side and go again with the arms, go 10. Good, get down low, nine, eight. Flex your back muscles. Can you see what I'm doing here with the back? Elbows flared wide, good, and keep the legs low, keep it up. Four, three, two, one more. Okay, good. So you got 20 reps total of the pull downs, 10 on the right, 10 on the left. We're gonna do the stretch band booty kicks next. So basically you wanna loop one of the bands around your knee and then you're gonna stick your foot through the other. I like to hold on to my ledge here. You can hold on to a wall at home or a table and you're gonna kick it back. Slow in and then strong out. 10 per side. There's three, four. Good. Instead of thinking like you want to stretch the band as far as possible, think you want to squeeze your muscle as tight as possible. If you're trying to stretch the band, your form will be all cockeyed. Keep your hips straight. Flex your muscles. You don't have to stretch the band to the maximum. You want to focus on what's going on with you. The band is just a tool. You don't work the band, the band works you. No, the other way around. <laughs> okay, we're switching sides. 
So put the band around your left thigh, right foot goes in, and here we go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, just a light support on the wall, don't lean on it. 4, most of your weight's on this leg so you can even let go and balance. One more. Good, awesome booty burner. I freaking love those. They're the best. So quick little rest and then we go on to the next exercise. So we're gonna do the cross body bent rows for this one. So you're gonna take the loop resistance band, stick it underneath your left foot and then grab onto the top of it with your right hand. Stay in that bent over position and you're gonna cross your body and row it up to your outer right rib cage and then back down. So your arm should cross the midline of your body. Cross and back. Keep your position low and try not to rotate your body. Keep your chest facing the ground and focus on your lat and your shoulder, getting a good flex at the top. Good, keep it up. Five, four, three, two, get one more. Good, okay, loop it off your foot and put it on the other side. Go right away, let's go 10, nine, eight. Good, stay low, make sure that your lower back is flat like this. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one more. Awesome, okay. We're gonna leave the band on our foot now, stick the other foot in and step back to the end of our mat for a plank position. This next one, we're gonna be taking plank side steps. So you wanna get down in a full plank, and then you're gonna step out to the right and back to the plank, out to the left and back to the plank. So try not to wiggle your hips too much, stay really tight here, and let's go 20 reps. 20, 19, 18, just a little tap, okay? 17, don't put any weight on that outside foot. Good. 14, keep your plank super tight, hands right under your shoulders. 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, whew, gets harder at the end. One more. Okay. Good, go ahead and release the resistance band, shake it off your feet. And we're gonna come back to standing and do hamstring curls. So again, using your wall or your ledge, you wanna put the band down on the ground, step on the front of it with one heel, and then loop your toes in the back side of it like this, put it on the middle of your foot. Make sure you got a good hold on it with that standing leg because you're gonna be pulling it up towards your butt like this. Up and tap your toe down, up and tap. Good. Here we go. Three, four, five. Try to flex this muscle right here, your hamstring. Good. And 10. Okay, good. Unhook your feet and then do the other side. First get your heel down and then stick your toe in. All right, here we go. 10 on this side. 10, 9, 8, 7, good. 6, 5, 4. Really flex your butt and hamstring right there. Come on, 3, 2. Sometimes it helps if you put your hand on it. You can feel the muscle tightening up. All right, good. It's all about the mind to muscle connection. Make sure that with each and every rep that you do, you're actually feeling a muscle flex because if you're not, you're missing the whole point of the workout. Okay, go ahead and loop this band around your shins, okay? So right in the middle of your shin between your ankle and your knee, we're gonna do 20 banded pop squats. So you start with your feet together, but not all the way together. Make sure that the band is tight. If you step too close together, it's gonna fall down. So tight band, and then you pop out, pop back together. Again, not too close. 
you should have still about a foot distance between your feet. So out together, out together. Good, so we get 20 reps of these. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Get 10 more. Get your cardio on, let's go. One more. Okay, good. All right, now you can go ahead and wiggle out of that. We'll get ready for repeating all of those exercises one more round to complete the workout. So grab a sip of water if you have some nearby. Ready? Get in your lens position, hands through the loop, and let's go. Pull downs, 10, 9, 8, 7. Check your core. Is it on? And four, constant tension on this band. Come on, three, two, one. Okay, changing other side. Let's go right away. 10, nine, eight, seven, five. Come on, stay low, lower than you want to. Two, and one. Whew. Nice, okay, you always gotta give that little extra inch, it's that last 1% that's gonna make the big difference in your body and your results and you won't regret. Okay, stretch band, booty kicks. Loop it around your right thigh, left foot goes in the loop, and here goes. 10, nine, eight, seven, Six. Remember, you can let go if you want more challenge. Just hold your hands out in front of you. Three. Woo. Two. If you lose your balance, just touch that wall lightly. Okay, good. Change sides. All right, good. Here we go. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Good, come on, flex those muscles. Five, four, three, two. Notice how this leg is slightly bent. You want to keep that throughout the exercise. So never locking out your limbs or your joints. Like always keep some muscle tension even on your standing leg. Okay, next is the cross body rows. So starting looped around my left foot, pulling with my right hand. Here we go. Ten. Three, two, one more. Okay, we're switching sides. Go for it. Eight. Notice I'm not resting at all between sides. You wanna switch immediately. Then you can take about 20 to 30 seconds between exercises, but both sides consider it one set. So just switch and go. Three, two, one more. Whew, my muscles are feeling a good burn on that one. If that feels easy for you, grab a heavier resistance band, but if you're flexing your muscles right, it should not feel easy. Onto the plank, so again, putting it around our feet like this. You're gonna get down into your plank position, high plank. So hands on the ground, right underneath your shoulders and go step to the side, 20, 19, 18. You want to make it harder then don't even touch the ground just kick to out to the side kick and back kick and back that will make it a little bit harder for you so you don't get that moment of rest and six five four use those glutes three two one more Woo. that one is harder than it looks you got to try it <laughs> Okay, coming back up, we're onto the hamstring curls. So again, I'm gonna step on it with my left heel and I'll put my right foot through the back of the loop. Make sure that I'm planted good on that side and then curl up, up, 10, nine, eight, 
tap the ground right back up. Seven, tap and up. Six, five, four, three, two. Good, one more. Mm, woo. So try to notice how I'm spending the majority of the time in the contraction of the movement. So when you come down, it's just a light tap. When you come up to the top, pause a moment and squeeze. Here we go. Squeeze, 10, tap, right back up. Nine, eight, seven, six, five. Should be feeling the shakes by now. Four, three, two, one. Okay, good. Go ahead and take that resistance band onto your shins now and let's finish with the banded pop squats. Get that last little bit of heart rate elevation before we finish this quick workout. Now, if you guys are feeling like you still got a lot of juice left, you're always welcome to add an additional round to this workout or you can add another like cardio Tabata finisher to the end of all of these if you want to. You don't have to be done, but this is just to get you started. So here we go, we're popping out and together. To be honest, a lot of times after I'm done filming these, I'll continue to like do a little more just until I feel like I'm really done. But for the purpose of YouTube, I wanna keep them short because I know that, you know, you don't have time to watch a super long video. So you can always repeat the workout twice if you want more. Good. Okay, four, three, two, and one. Awesome, guys. Thank you so much for doing this workout together with me. Don't forget to do a stretch and a cool down. So pick your favorite stretches or you can follow my favorite stretches in a video I shared previously. I'll be back before you know it with the next workout. I'll see you then. In the meantime, keep living lean. I want to show you guys, I know I've been getting a lot of questions on post-workout nutrition. Like what do you do after workout? How do you uh, improve recovery? How do you reduce soreness? How do you uh, grow and repair your muscles most efficiently? So I want to show you guys how to do that right now. Boom. It's called a post-workout shake. Now this is just one part of it. Now, you know, real food is obviously going to bring you the most gains, but when it comes to post-workout nutrition, like after your workout, it's about speed. You want the speed to get the nutrients to the body, to the muscles, to repair, grow, and rebuild. So what I like to do, and I've showed this before on uh, our channel, I like to make a post-workout shake with almond milk, uh, this is like an almond coconut milk blend, so I could use coconut milk as well, but if I'm using coconut milk, it's uh, usually not the from a can, the fatty type, the healthy fatty type. I like to keep fats limited uh, during post-workout, so I put about a cup of that in there. And you can also use water as well, actually I use quite a bit as well, but uh, almond milk just kind of gives you you know, a little bit more, not necessarily flavor, because it's not really flavor, but just the consistency is a little bit different than water. Um, I like to have some frozen bananas in there as well. Let me just put this vlog camera down. Babe, can you actually just film me? Sure. Like that smooth transition to the camera woman? Right, yeah, now it's in focus, <laughs> okay. Yeah. All right, so um, what we do is we buy like bananas, we peel them, we cut them in half, then we put them in the freezer. And so what I like to do like is- Like as soon as I get a few brown spots, I do that. Yeah, and actually that's better for post-workout. The brown of the banana, the quicker the sugar will absorb in your body to um, transport the protein nutrients to your muscles. So that's why we add sugar post-workout. So post-workout, the sugar kind of opens up the receptors in the muscle cells to send in the amino acids from the protein. I don't want to get too sciencey on you, but basically protein helps rebuild the muscles. Sugar helps transport it there. So that's why post-workout is what we want for sugar. Bananas are a good source of that. So I, I like to put, one banana, one and a half bananas in there, but that's for me, that's for my body type. So if you are trying to lose weight, you may want to reduce the amount of sugar you have. Um, but for me, where I'm trying to like add a little bit of muscle, um, I add a little bit more sugar. So that's where this comes in as well. So maple syrup, you could also use honey. So this is another fast, quick source of sugar. So I like to put about a tablespoon in there. Oh, it looks like Kyle's awake. <laughs> so wrap this up quickly. And then I like to use protein, and you guys know um, I've been using this protein here from Roots. 
This is an egg white protein, sacha inchi protein, and hemp protein. If I'm pronouncing sacha inchi wrong, somebody correct me because that's why I always say. Um, I Amazing been, product for people who are intolerant to dairy. Yeah. So you guys know I don't do very well with dairy and I've been yeah. noticing that when I was taking whey for like six to ten years now, um, it's time to change it up for me. So. Um, this is a great source of protein from Roots, and uh, Roots is actually hooks you guys up with, as I mentioned earlier, with a 10% off coupon code LiveLeanTV. Uh, so you can go to LiveLeanTV.com forward slash protein, and that will uh, bring you right to the site. This has no sucralose in it, and guys, sucralose, I know it seems innocent because it's no sh sugar, no calories, you know, but it does make people bloated. So yeah, try so to get sucralose out. It's naturally flavored with stevia and it's chocolate banana nut. So it's really good. The consistency is really good as well. Like sometimes when you have um, certain types of protein powder, it gets really clumpy and just not right. very good. This is so clean. And it's smooth. It's so not pure. like chunky. Yeah. And I had two scoops of this because one scoop is 15 grams of protein. I like to get 30 grams of protein after my workout. Um, so that's why I use two scoops of this bad boy. Then, blend it up. You just blend it up like that, I'm not gonna uh, go to the blender. And then I put it into like a shaker cup, I take it to the gym with me, and I drink it soon as my workout is done. It's like the easiest thing you can do for yourself, nutrition-wise, like yeah. it doesn't get easier than that. So there, just let me finish blending this, and I'll show you the final uh, display of it. Nice, cool display in a cup in one sec. And here we go. Smooth, smooth, smooth. That's my post-workout shake. Guys, post-workout nutrition. Make sure you're taking advantage of those gains. Let's go. Mm. Tastes delicious. <laughs> Don't you be stealing my gains. Mm. It seriously does. Tastes like pancake. Yeah. You should get... Pancake smoothie. So, shout out to Roots if you want to rename, rebrand, or re-flavor uh, your protein. <laughs> Just the name of it, because the flavor is delicious. Uh, pancake batter. Protein, <laughs> trademarked by Livling TV. <laughs> um, and that's the great, that's another great thing about it is it doesn't taste artificial. Like sometimes you get these protein powders that I are steal too much of your game. so flavored with like artificial sweeteners that you taste it it's just like so fake and chemically fake and gross. tasting. Yeah. This is the bomb diggity. It actually tastes like real food.